wide areas and also seeing like kicking as a as a weapon to put uh, pressure on the defending team. Thanks, Jan. Uh, hi, guys. This is okay if I go? Yeah, thanks, Morgs. Yeah, you can go. No problems. Um, it's just uh, to follow up on <clears throat> your home record in this season. Um, and uh, if both of you could please answer. It must be quite frustrating that you guys uh, have just not managed to pull off a home victory. It's probably one of the biggest things that you need to do right now, uh, just to get also a bit more momentum for the next 10 games as well. Yeah, hi Morgan. Um, I feel that the next two games are going to be critical for us, um, just to get that that winning um, momentum back at home. It is disappointing, especially um, we wanna we wanna play good rugby, like Edward mentioned, for for the fans and to bring more people in to come and watch. Um, so that's also a thing that has been addressed. And yeah, um, we obviously take it game by game um, and team by team, but we want to start playing better at home. Thanks, Morgan. Uh, I can ask another few questions. Let's yeah, sure, go for it. I guess this uh, Cardiff game is also maybe a dry run for the Challenge Cup. Are you guys seeing it that way, or is just um, taking it game by game, as uh, which is the cliche I would uh, uh, say? You mean dragons, Morgan? Guys, excuse me, dragons. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm uh, doing a million things at the moment. Yes, we're playing uh, Dragons. I think it's three times in six weeks. So obviously, um, we'll, we, we've done an, an analysis this week on, on them and we'll keep doing it as the week goes on. But as you mentioned, we're playing them three times in, in a short span of time. And obviously, um, we'll obviously try and do our, our best and get the results in both competitions. Um, obviously, Dragons is a quality side. They've been playing much better um, this year, especially than, than compared to last year. Um, so looking forward to the match and a good challenge. What are you guys expecting from Dragons then in the next few couple of games? Yeah, so what we saw is a team who loves running the ball, um, also love attacking kicks. So we expect a, a, a good running rugby game, and that's also something that we want to do. So yeah, looking forward to to a good match on Saturday on Sunday. Thanks. Thanks, Morgan. It will. You just touched on uh, Jan again. Sorry, you just touched on the on the running game. I mean, the, the last time you guys played them. Uh, you guys seem to really get over them by speeding up the game, even though they also enjoy carrying the ball in hand. Um, at Ellis Park, I mean, we know it, it's been a strength of you guys, and, and you mentioned earlier that you need to manage the game better. Uh, speeding up the game has, has always been a strength of the Lions. Is that one way of getting over teams at Ellis Park, or are you guys just getting too excited? <laughs> Um, now, I definitely think uh, obviously speeding up the game, but I think most importantly is obviously getting gain line in your carries. Um, forwards and backs getting over that over the gain line and that's when you start getting momentum and, and, and then you can speed up the game. Um, so firstly, we want to win the physical battle. Um, I think as the Lions, our DNA is, uh, is being a physical team. So we have to bring that on the weekend and then from there you can speed up the game. Thanks, Jan. Any other questions, guys? Can I go, please? Good day, everybody. Simon here yeah, from Radio Rugby. Good day. Hi, uh, good day, guys. Uh, interesting uh, period of rugby that we're entering now towards the end of the year as well. Uh, festive uh, season coming up and there's a chock-a-block um, calendar full of rugby. Um, from a player's point of view, uh, how do you guys view that? Um, do you think there's going to be enough bums on seats um, at, at uh, your local venue? And um, on, obviously, from from the administrators and marketers point of view, it's a total different uh, um, attitude as well. But I, I would like to peek a little bit inside your your heads as players. How do you view this uh, this part of the year coming up? Thank you. Hi, Simon. Um, yeah, I think we, we chatted about it on Monday. Um, we it's it's a uh, for 90 percent of us uh, that we haven't played in two competitions at the same time um, and also not during December and January. Um, but we just want to, on on our side, just want to play good rugby and let the people want to come and watch um, during the holidays and make it fun for them to come over weekends and come and support us um, as like schools or there's no school or anything like that. So people can come and support and we can fill up the stadium. So that's just from our side what we can do. And then we leave the rest for, for the marketing team to do their sides. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
Yeah, and then just, sorry guys, I'm going to jump in. Was it, uh, Franca, obviously touching on that as well, um, you guys are going to be playing, you know, 23rd of December, that's two days before Christmas, on the 31st, which is New Year's, um, completely different uh, from what you guys are used to. Is that something that you've prepared for and you guys are quite excited about? Yeah, I must say, I was, um, we, um, we did, when the fixes came out, um, we saw that and we already made peace of that. Um, I think we had our two, three weeks off now. So um, it's just back into the, the 10 match day routine. Um, and yeah, we're looking really forward to it. It's a different different time and a different um, yeah, place to, to play, but we're really looking forward to it. And like I said, we already made peace of it since the fixes has um, come out. And then, Ed, well, obviously, the next two games you guys are playing on uh, Sundays. That's also a bit different from what you're used to. Do you guys quite like Sunday afternoon games? Uh, is it a bit different, and does it uh, add a bit more excitement? Uh, personally, I don't, I don't mind on which day we play. For me, my, my match prep during the week stays the same. And even uh, us playing on Sunday, we had Monday off so that we can... Um, basically have the full week as we would usually have. Um, so our, our prep stays the same. And for us, it's all about turning up on Sunday. It doesn't matter what day we play. And yeah, just turning up and doing our best for the team. Thanks, Ross. All right, guys, can we take about one or two more before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to jump in quickly. Um, I know uh, there's not a coach that around to ask this question, but Franco, maybe, or even Edwell, uh, is there any injuries? Uh, <laughs> Uh, around that, that we know of anybody that's perhaps uh, not, not available this week? Oh, Jan, yeah, no, there's no injuries. Um, so we have a full strength um, squad to pick from. Um, so we've been training really, really well the last two weeks. And yeah, so no injuries to report. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, can we take one more, guys, before we wrap up? Yeah, if it's okay, can I ask a non related rugby question? Yeah, what is it about Mogs? <laughs> about the World Cup? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, you, uh, have you guys been uh, keeping tabs on the World Cup? Did you perhaps watch the Argentinian game yesterday? And who are your favourites? Um, yeah, I I actually like watching sport. Um, we did train during the Argentinian game, but I did watch the highlights. But yeah, my team is Brazil. It, it has been, and I know they are but favourites, so I'm rooting for them. I don't watch soccer really. I'm more into my American sports, basketball, and NFL. But I used to support France, so maybe I should keep track on how they're doing. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks. nice one. Thanks for that, Mogs. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it, and uh, good afternoon. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All the best.